to Joe Martinez. Here we go, Five Vance. This is the super heavyweight division scheduled for four rounds of action. Your three judges are the same Los Tres Jueces and Jason East Jr. Frank Lombardi and John Duke Lawson. And when the bell rings again, your referee in charge, a referee, Michael Ortega. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing tonight the solid black trunks. He weighed in at 222 pounds even. En la esquina roja azul con los calzoncillos negros y un peso de 222 libras. His professional record, two victories with one defeat, su record, dos victorias y una derrota. Joining us tonight from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, here is Jerry Raphael Simpson. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wears tonight the solid blue trunks and weighed in at 248 ready pounds. En la esquina roja con los calzoncillos azules y un peso de 248 libras. His professional record after one professional fight is perfect. Joining us from Providence, Rhode Island, he is a 2004 representative of the United States Olympic Boxing Team. Here is Jason Big Six Estrada. Jason Estrada, the hometown kid from Providence, Rhode Island, a 2004 United States Olympian. And the tail of the tape between these two, Estrada is bigger. He is not necessarily any heavier, but he certainly carries a good size and a good weight. Younger, less experienced, but still, at this point of his career, guys, I think Jerry Lee Simpson may turn out to be the perfect opponent. And Jerry Lee Simpson in his quarter is a former great heavyweight champion of the world, Tony Tubbs, working with... Uh, Mr. Simpson tonight, and also we get Peter Manfredo Jr. in the Jason's corner. If I'm correct, I think they all grew up together, started out in the gym together. I so believe they did. This is quite nice. Oh, wait a minute, Peter Manfredo and <laughs> Jr. Didn't they start out in the gym together? The yeah, I thought you said Peter Manfredo and, and Tony Page. Oh no, no, <laughs> no, 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 Tony Tubbs. No, no. No, that would be interesting. If that you were would to hear be interesting. That. I'd like to see Peter and Tony Tubbs go at it. Yeah, there <laughs> there's Tony right there. Four rounds in the special heavyweight attraction here. And Jason Estrada still looks as if he is rounding into shape as a heavyweight. He still has some growing to do. Got to got to get and do uh, some more of those crunches. Get get on the get his body ready for the big time in professional boxing. Would you imagine perhaps that he is not going to be one of those people who? I don't think he has a uh, total gym at home, but <laughs> he does have amazingly fast hands for a man his size. Yeah, he does. Very agile. Very agile, very fast, very quick for a heavyweight, amazingly quick. And that could be the problem with most people, uh, as like what Tony Tubbs was. Always looked a little overweight, but had tremendously fast hands and was very agile, which is somewhat deceiving. You know, not everyone looks like Hollyfield, you know. I think it is always interesting. We always look at heavyweights. The bigger, the better. But you still look at the guys who have the wonderful foot skills who also are a little more agile a lot of them are not when they get this big no it takes a lot away from them yeah i'd say i'd say uh you know peter manfredo senior will will eventually get jason to where he wants in shape estrada with a paw left that came in and then a big right hand he's just clocking up on that right hand frank yes he is you know it, it's it's actually hard for estrada to fight this guy because he's left-handed he's awkward I mean, he's not the greatest fighter in the world by far, but well, he's just awkward as hell being a left-hander. He's awkward, but Jason also has to learn because at that point, he had a clear left hand around Simpson and was holding him as he brought him in, and he already gets a warning. But I love to see Jason Estrada drop about 15 more pounds, and man, he'd be so light on his feet, it'd be amazing. He'd be like a middleweight. Don't you think, Ben? I don't know, Frank. I don't know if I agree with you. You think I don't he know if I agree with you. I think he can handle the weight. Yeah, I think he can handle I the weight. Yes, he can. Some guys I think he can. Some Maybe, guy. you know, I mean, obviously, as he progresses, he's going to have to train harder yeah. and longer. And then the weight should just drop just off. off right. yeah. oh. That was a left hand. Well, oh. I guess Jerry Lee Simpson to the canvas will be more like Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah, that's it. This well. fight is done. 
Well, I guess that uh, cures my thing about the carrying a little weight, doesn't it? And eight <laughs> points, two on the Richter scale by the time that Simpson hit the canvas. All 222 pounds as he bounced off the canvas. Boy. And Boy. this was a devastating oh. punch. I told you, Frank. Yeah, Vinny, you're right. I owe you a drink. <laughs> wow. Ed, you too. I owe you a drink after this visit because. Uh, Thanks, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have the bet, but I'll take the. Uh, I'll take, take the extra. Drink. Okay. Boy, did he get There hit. is a concern now about yeah. Jerry Lee Simpson because lot, like, he hit the canvas hard, and it's more a bouncing effect of his head. Yeah. So before we go any farther. Jason Estrada being congratulated, but Jerry Lee Simpson is still down on the canvas, and yeah. they may have to bring in some extra medical help as we watch because he is down, he is breathing, but they are watching, and I think they may uh -oh. have to bring yeah. in a stretcher for Jerry Lee Simpson. Yours Everybody loves a good knockout, but when it gets like this, it gets scary. And, this and is ugly. exceptionally scary. 